Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, packaging, um, converting your files to outlines, and zipping the files um, to upload to D2L. So <clears throat> I'm starting with a lyric poster from a previous um, semester. So this is a student file. Um, and I just took their name off. So it's last name, first initial, underscore, P1, lyric poster. So make sure you're using the correct nomenclature. And what you want to do is you want to check your links. And you want to make sure, right now this looks fine, but I can see a red question mark. Um, and that's because it's kind of hidden over here. But you want to make sure that your links are all there, um, this is going to cause a problem. So you're going to need to come um, fix this. So if I don't fix it now, it's going to tell me that there's a problem. So I'm just going to find that linked file and say open. And so now it's linked. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and save. Oops. Um, this still has my fonts attached, so I can still click in here and change whatever fonts I want. If I go to type, find font, um, it shows me that the fonts um, that the fonts are still in here. Um, and so this is not converted. So the converted version is the version that um, ha the converted version is the file that has um, no fonts attached to it. So you're creating outlines is what that means. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we want to collect the fonts and we want to collect the images. So we are gonna go to File, Package. And this is gonna tell us if we have any issues. So had I not, linked that um, background file, it would have a little triangular yellow thing here saying, hey, there's a font or a file that's not linked. So there's um, a missing file. Um, but because there's nothing here, it's saying everything's fine. So I can go to package and then save it now. So it's saying that we have to save it and that's because I linked. So now it's saying, where do you want to save it? So I'm going to save it to my desktop. It keeps the same file name and it puts the word folder at the end, which is perfectly fine. That's how I always know that's my, my actual packaged one. So you want to make sure that you have the fonts selected and all of these. I usually do not select include fonts and links from hidden and not non-printing contents because if they're hidden, I'm not using them. So I don't care about that. But you want to include the IDML file and the IDML file is so that you can open it in an older version. So if, if somebody else has an older version, they can open it and that's helpful. So you always want to make sure you have that and you always want to make sure you have the PDF selected. So once you have that, um, these all selected here, you're going to hit package and then just hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and um, create this um, packaged document. And I can already see that it's on the folder. It's um, on my desktop here. You can see the folder version here. OK, <clears throat> so now if I double click that, um, what's in this file is the fonts folder. So this, these are all the fonts that are included in this document. Um, and then here's the lyric poster um, and here is the link. This file only has one link. So this is um, a uh, correctly um, packaged file. But what we also want to do is we want to package a, another version. So we want one that has an outlined, um, it's basically outlined so there's no fonts involved. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this um, InDesign file and I'm just gonna paste it outside. So I'm pasting it or maybe not. I'm just gonna drag it out here. So I made a copy of it. I can also do that by just going, um, here, let me delete this. And then I can go here, file, save as, and at the very end, I'm just going to type in converted. So underscore converted. 
And then I'm going to save this to my desktop and say save. So here's that converted file. And then with this converted file open, what I'm going to do is select my layers, make sure nothing's locked. I'm going to select all and ungroup. So object ungroup, which because it's not highlighted, it means nothing's grouped. So I'm going to go to type, create outlines. So right now, remember how I showed you find font? There's fonts in here. But if I go to type, create outlines, it's going to outline everything. So this is no longer a font. So type, find font, this is now empty. So that means that there are no fonts here anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And if you look at, um, let's go back to teaching um, projects. So if we look at the Lyric Poster requirements, I'm asking for an InDesign, a PDF, and a converted InDesign and PDF. And I'm going to actually change this because I do want it to be, um, I want to have your links, um, I want it to be packaged. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make a PDF of this file, save as, or actually let's export file, export, and here it's PDF print, and it's converted. So there's no fonts attached to it. And I'm going to go ahead and say save. Um, also, just to notice, it's just a single page. We don't have to worry about spreads, your marks and bleeds. You want to make sure you have nothing selected. We don't want any crop marks or anything. So marks and bleed, nothing's um, nothing selected. And under general, just make sure it says pages and say export. And so here's a PDF. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save that. So... Um, then these two you can just drop in that packaged folder. So this is what it looks like now. So you have your um, poster InDesign file and a PDF. These have fonts, an IDML file in case somebody had a lower version, and converted files. Um, so, uh, and then you have a links folder and also your fonts. So this is what you should have. You can't upload a folder to D2L so you have to zip it. So the way that you're going to do that is you're going to go to, you're going to click this, and you can, if you have right click set up, you can actually, oops, you can right click on it, and um, you can do it that way, or file compress. So if you right click, it might say send to a compressed file. So that's um, on a PC. I think that's how it is. Um, for me on a Mac. Um, I don't have right click set up on this computer, so it's file compress. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give me a zip folder. Now, if I typed my reflection on in Word, I would actually throw my reflection in here as well and then zip it. So I just want you to have one folder that you're uploading. Um, so this is the file now that you would actually put into. Um, uh, D2L. That's what you would upload. And um, you would want to save these files. So for example, if I had my kind of files the way that they should be, I would have, um, like if I were a student, then I would have fall 20. Um, and then I would have my InDesign class. And then I would have another folder that says projects. And then I would have um, another folder that says P1 Lyrics Poster. And both of these are going in there. So let me open this up a little bit so we could kind of see it. Close these. Okay, so I have Front Range the semester, InDesign class, projects, my project one lyrics poster, and then here are those files and here's the zip folder. So this is how I would keep my files organized. And then we're going to go on to project two, whatever, you know, whatever that name might be. 
Um, so you just keep this stuff all together. So that is it on how um, you are going to package um, and create outlines and zip your folder to upload into D2L. And that's it.